So, on our way to Drogheda, Drogheda North, so we, we're going back into Northern Ireland today, we stop at Apple Green, that, right. it, shh, that is a gas station, uh, not only air and water it's free when in many other gas stations it's pay, you pay one euro for five minutes of air, but they got a free hot shower. And of course, as I'm like Santo Maso that can't believe until he put his nose, I will go to get a hot shower. So here it's the 24 hours shower, I think, and toilet. Uh, ask the staff for the access. Yeah, a shower. Apple green, that's great. Okay, <laughs> I got my shower gel my flip-flops and a towel. So let's go for this hot shower. Free hot shower. Yeah. Okay. That's just the toilet. And this is just the toilet, but that's it. This is the shower. You see? Alright. It's a little bit dark. <laughs> Let me open a little bit. But it's clean. There's also a toilet. And shower. This was just beyond amazing. Hot shower. We just arrived in Cloggerhead. Um, that's the park here, it's a nice view and there's a lot of fishing boat, but like a lot. There's still camper van down there in the Isle Let's go to check the boat. So, this is the perfect van life pictures, except for the mess here, but it's kind of normal. A coke, mayo, tobacco, 
ashtray, toilet paper. <laughs> Mel doesn't wear a G-string, so off. It's not great. And the bed, it's too messy. I mean, usually it's it's better. And yeah, these are not clean. Yeah, not really great. But you know, we do what we can. What a beautiful morning uh, in Ireland. Uh, it seems going to be another kind of sunny day. Uh, so we met with another of our subscribers, Joe Reagan. But he lives nearby and he just stopped by. Brings us some fresh croissant. Thanks a lot. We really like with our coffee. And uh, we're pretty much ready to go now. I'm just gonna wait a little bit more because here, because of the harbor, there's a lot of fishing boats and there's a lot of seals as well that come just nearby, like 10 meters maybe from us and uh, I would love to get some footage of them. They're so beautiful. So, Sunday, Sunday, a really sunny one. Uh, we are still in the Republic of Ireland. Uh, probably this will be our last meetup for Ireland with um, a couple from UK, uh, Chris and Marianne. So they start recently their uh, journey so they sell everything they quit the job and and they're not millennials they're probably even older than us or our age so that will be great to meet them uh, and we found a nice place near a lake not so far from here so first of all we're gonna hit the supermarket get some good barbecue stuff and go to met them and go to the lake. That's the plan. So, Chris and Marianne in the house. <laughs> yeah! Throughout the globe. I didn't took out the camera till now just because we had so much fun time and uh, chatting and, you know, share experience. And, uh, you know, the camera sometimes is like a little too much. So, sunset here at the lake. There's a beautiful lake down there. Uh, 
Still beats backlight, but you can see it. I'm gonna take out the barbecue now. It's barbecue time. And we're gonna spend here the night. We just flew our <laughs> our drones get some really nice footage of the place. Mando's has got a bigger drone than mine. Yeah. He's it's... got size issues. <laughs> We are back in Hollywood, not California, but Hollywood, Belfast. So it's a, we know this parking because we stay here for a couple of days last week. And yeah, it's quiet, there's no signs and uh, it's a quiet place usually. I think people from Belfast come here, there's a nice park and I can see people with an umbrella and chairs, you know, just enjoy the sunny day. So, last day in Ireland, tonight at 3.30 in the morning we have our ferry that will bring us to Scotland. Yep, um, this weekend we were kind of off-grid, we met um, Marianne and Chris from Tread the Globe, amazing people, we had a lovely day eating drinking in a beautiful place just near a lake and no wi-fi totally off grid so we had a lot of time for chatting and uh, know each other and share experience from the 80s as we're this kind of the same age you know the good old days the 80s we are in belfast just outside and um we have to wait two o'clock in the morning and we will go to the harbour to get the ferry that will bring us to Scotland and we arrive at 6 in the morning and we're just looking online for a place where to crash for a couple of days just to reboot the system the Westphalia Digital Nomad system needs to be rebooted and Ziggy especially, you want to be the star, I know it you're the star, <laughs> yes you absolutely want to stop me <laughs> As always, Ziggy, he got the best place. So he's in the van, lay down on the bed. <laughs> Bastard. So yeah, two hours and a half, so it's not that bad, but we're really tired and yeah. We... Hello, we go to Scotland. Ladies and gentlemen. Very carefully. Very carefully. Your attention is drawn to the passenger emergency instruction notices, instruction. which are displayed in this assembly stations and other passenger areas on board. Okay. These notices include the location of assembly stations. There. That is areas where passengers should assemble in the event of an emergency. Let's go. We are leaving. So thanks a lot, Ireland. Thanks a lot, Irish people. It was an amazing adventure unforgettable I mean we had just amazing moments 
And yeah, Scotland tomorrow morning. We'll start with you for the next two and a half months. So just wait for us. Bye bye.